Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> it's all about me. <laughs> no, here's Stephen with all Tuesday nights. <laughs> oh, Mal, it sure is, my friend. It's time to continue our tribute to your remarkable career tonight. We look back on a segment that became a firm favourite with the viewers, and that was called Mal's Melbourne. Prime Minister Bob Hawke. <laughs> High profile faces or supporting the underdog, viewers loved Mel's Melbourne. And everyone, it seemed, had an opinion. In 1988, Mel helped spread the word about a dedicated young woman whose humanitarian work was just beginning to be recognised. Moira Kelly was just 13 when she began her career for caring. It's amazing what you can do when you put your mind to it. I just remember thinking this was my first interview I ever had and how nervous I was and thinking someone so important coming to see me. Severely disabled in a senseless bashing at Lilydale, Mel never forgot the story of Martin Waller. It was a surprise that he came. Today, as we lower him into the bottom of his little racing yacht, he has something to laugh about for the first time in 23 years. <laughs> Martin conquered the world as a sailor. Thank you. Like the city itself, Mel's Melbourne was full of surprises. Since the age of 10, the mighty Apollo has been struck, strangled, stretched and stood on. It ignored the old adage about never working with animals or children. Dolphin. You'd be a dolphin? Is that what you are? You're a dolphin, are you? They even took a gamble or two. Well, Barbara's come well equipped. She's got a glass of champagne in one hand and a credit card from Cabaret worth $500 to play with on the other. And sometimes it called for dedication above and beyond. It's a patient with a low threshold to pain and even less tolerance to fear. Still, Mel came up smiling, even found time for a little clowning around. I 